Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> Memorable commentary for this brilliant one minute of socially distant sport. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Play the most brilliant minute of socially distanced sport. Oh. So they're commentating each other? Sport they've just done. So it's a double task for you to judge. Oh, they have to commentate on their own? Oh, yeah, I suppose. How would you do it any other way? One person has a golf ball, we stick a glove on the end, and then we hit each other. You do what again? You just beat somebody with a... I will be the referee. I would love to see you two swing it out. What? Hit each other out the head? <laughs> what are you fucking talking about, Guz? Can you distill what's interesting about looking at it? Some sort of expertise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you distill what is interesting about sport from looking at it? Like, when looking at it? Distill. She used the word distill in that context. Victoria Cora Mitchell, I fucking love you. Athleticism. You might fall at that hurdle. Moments of surprise. That I can do. What if it's us trying to just hit him with any balls? I like how you turn this round on me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, well. Gus ball, gus ball, gus ball. I just want to say this is very ironic considering I initially came with a game that involved me not getting hit. <laughs> Pretty brilliant sport. And prepare yourself for the element of surprise. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell someone to prepare for a surprise. When I watch two women hitting each other with golf clubs. Not completely golf clubs. I said, like, put, um, put a boxing, boxing gloves on oh, the you, end. You're not a monster. There's boxing yeah. gloves on the end. <laughs> yeah. so sometimes, Victoria, you sound like a robot who's learning how to be a human. <laughs> Fucking hell. That is so true. Still, what's interesting about <laughs> sport? <laughs> well, you said it's the most interesting sport, so I said, what's the thing that makes it interesting? And we'll do that. I mean, to be fair, Alan did distill it very quickly. <laughs> he did. And I think Victoria thought I meant surprise, as in a magician. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got? <laughs> That's right, because the sports robot just loaded up the word surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and Victoria commentating on multi-sports. Actuate. <laughs> <laughs> she is very robotic, isn't she? Uh, Cora Mitchell's first up. She's lining up a shot. Oh, she surprised him with a noise. Oh, nicely done. You see, he's trying to get that back over the net there, but it's a feeble attempt. Bringing in the element of surprise, which is key, I recently learned to sport. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're halfway through the minute of sport. She's just put that into play. That's a gift. Oh, he scored! Oh! Oh! Absolutely incredible. You've got to face in the other direction. What? Cora Mitchell's made him turn around. Uh, well, she's got one in. Wow, she just scored a goal. I'm going to go back and read all these fucking things at the end as well. 1-1. One, one, and it's... Oh, my word! It's a winner! She doesn't know it. She doesn't see it going. She doesn't know it. I mean, I'm kind of impressed that she got any in. My favourite element of surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was complaining to the referee. I was just because he wouldn't stare down your top. <laughs> Wait, when did that happen? I must have been distracted by the um, the thing at the bottom. Surprise number three. Look down. Oh, she's invited him to look down her top. He's not being. <laughs> 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 they were right. <laughs> the litmus test for how much a man's really interested in sport. <laughs> Guz ball! Oh god, Guz. <laughs> it's the finals here, it's really exciting, it's quite a crowd. I don't know about you, Rodders, but how are you feeling about that? Yeah, yeah. She John Modson, what's going on there? More about the mental than the physical. I've had my bollocks permanently damaged from this game. <laughs> sure. And so let's play the game. Oh let's do this. I'm so excited that's right. Fucking hell, Bogana, what is that? Uh, children are something you can never enjoy. If you don't look after your own bits. Oh! <laughs> Keep an eye on Robinson here. She's got a reputation. Mm. Outstanding player, but a dirty bastard. <laughs> she's 
that arrogance to stand in the center of the ring, you know? Like, nobody wants to be that- I can't wait to hear the behind the scenes story of this task, because this looks so confusing, and like, nobody wanted to be the only one getting hit. <laughs> looks like it's gonna be enough. Ooh, I don't know. I reckon Alan and Victoria won this one. Just to himself quietly, he said it's a really shit game at the end there. <laughs> it was a shit game. Yeah, Rodders. Rodders, quite bitter about his career. <laughs> I enjoyed multi-sport more as a sport, but I preferred this dedicated team. Okay. Oh, don't agree with that. So I think you have to give everybody the same points. Level, level. I'll just give them five points each. Wow. It feels right to me. All right, if you say so. This is an infuriating episode. <laughs> Prevent Alex from scoring a goal. And the ball and goalpost must be on their spots when he does. <laughs> wait, how long have I got? Oh, you, wait. Do you understand what you're saying? <laughs> but hopefully a reinvention of uh, that dreary game. <laughs> More football teams don't do this. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, there are holes in it. That's okay. I think it's still a pretty fucking good idea. It's going straight through, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> really? I mean, that was more of an own goal. Did Alex really score that? One of the great football tragedies of our time. <laughs> Wait, you... Oh! Et voila! Alright, alright! This is gonna scupper me. 10.973 metres. There she goes. What maths are you trying to accomplish here, Morgana? I mean, Alan has got the idea right here. Ooh. You got it? You got it there? Go at it. So wait, does Alex now get another shot from the red spot or? Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna be able to like dribble, dribble it up and be like, hey, hey, we're having a soccer game, football game. What's going on here? <laughs> this is just getting out of hand. I mean, Morgana is keeping it real, but what is going on with Alan? It's in. That went in. <gasps> oh my god! Outrageous! Outrageous! That is fucking hilarious. Well done. That was great. Whoa, Alex Horn getting on his little moment to shine in this one. Having all the uh, answers. It largely was an exercise in metric conversion. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get yards either. Uh, with Morgana, 10 minutes 45 altogether. So she was the Ooh, slowest so far. All right. How good are you at football? If there was nothing in the way, what are your chances? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say anything about the sport having not to move. Are you sure? Yeah, I guess it didn't, did it? There must be some kind of null and void situation going on here, brother. <laughs> Okay, good luck. If you score a goal from there, I'll give you a hundred pounds. Victoria, why are you making bets like that? He's just gonna chip it over and you're gonna be like, oh my God, how did you do that? <laughs> Guz, you may have cracked the code on this one. How the hell did he do that? You can do that. You did it. Now, Guz, you are left wide open. <laughs> oh, it's a good save. All right, you might be up with a bit of a challenge. Yeah, Victoria. <laughs> you didn't even move. Nice goal. What happened with Victoria? She's not even standing in the way to try and deflect it. No! No, no, no! no. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> I knew she'd say that. <laughs> I should have stood in the goal, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yep. 
That was fucking hilarious. If you score a goal from there, I'll give you £100. He doesn't yes. seem like someone who could do that. Well, if it had been a foot closer to the ball, I wouldn't have been able to. I didn't know the ball could go upwards. <laughs> <laughs> Step to your right and... Never occurred to me. No, I know. <laughs> of course not. And I'd have been disappointed if you'd made an effort. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of actual time, Desiree, quickest goal, then Victoria, then Guz, then Alan, but Morgana was the slowest, so she wow. gets five points. Yeah, well done. Morgana is dominating this episode. You may buy the tools you need with time. That's Shakespeare. You may buy the tools you need with time. It is Shakespeare, you're right. <laughs> Fastest wins. You may buy the tools you need with time. What the fuck? So you'd lose time if you... Okay, okay. And that costs you eight minutes, and with them you snip the string behind you and see what happens. But that's the only time you're allowed to touch the string. But is it going to take eight minutes of the time? That will take you eight minutes, yes. Then, brother, this is not sensible. <laughs> Morgana and Gus. <laughs> Hello, sir, what would you like? Okay. Can I have some darts, please? Yeah, I think darts is your best bet. Hang on, do they, are they pointy darts? Will they even work? Can I try one more dart? Yes. Oh, oh hello. Take the lot. Oh, this is painful. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh. That deserved to pop. There is a <laughs> imbalance in the probability of the balloon. What is this shit? Because I've been at school again. <laughs> Can I have the scissors, please? Okay. Wow, really? How much time do they start with? I've stopped the clock. Brother, there's a word. I've never used it before in life. <laughs> it looks so goddamn threatening right there. Yeah, with the goddamn things. Last the summer wine 53 times. <laughs> Morgana, 84 last right, the summer. So if you immediately go... 56 minutes scissors, bam, then your time is eight minutes. You did good job, Doctor. There we go. <laughs> She's doing it smart, though, by going back every time, because if you grab three of them and then you get it on the first one, then you just purchased a bunch of pointless time. Duck. I'm using the ducks to practice aim. Okay. Can you use the duck to throw it at the thing above it? Will that knock it? Quite a lot more. I think the move might be to just take the scissors in the first place. Ah! Oh. Hey! Well done! That was so worth it. I don't care if it had taken three days. That was so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> she is hyped up. Let's go, Victoria. 25 minutes 30 was her total time. Which puts Victoria in the lead? Yeah. By that's... miles. By miles. Oh. Well, that's nice. Last up. <laughs> Does she have like a little bit of an ego, Victoria? Okay, this will cost you eight minutes. So. Okay, thanks. There we go. Well done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hi there. How can I help you? I would like to purchase those three darts. <laughs> Let's go ahead and buy three forks. Why not? Six minutes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ding dong. Oh, hello, madam. I would love to get another set of darts. Oh, just go for the scissors already. Come on. Hi Ding there. dong. One fork and six ducks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's just like, fuck it. <laughs> oh. Fuck it. Give me the bucket. Oh. <laughs> this, this, this just turned into a goddamn, like, absolute tantrum. How can I help you? You know what? Can I get some scissors? <laughs> Stop the clock. That was very enjoyable. <laughs> oh, no. No. No! No! Oh, thank God. What an absolute spectacle. <laughs>
no way I'm going to hit that balloon from here. That's what I thought. <laughs> Very efficient. Eight minutes. Yeah, he won. Like, that is not the game, that is not the show. That's boring. That's and I was what like, I thought. Like Alan, yeah, it. if I just win it, that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, whatever that attempt was, it wasn't boring. Have you, have, <laughs> and it looked like we'd set up that portcullis not to work, but it was genuine, wasn't it? The portcullis was meant to work, but it had lost the will to live. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I'm going to call it in 12 series. That's the worst attempt we've ever seen at any task. Thank you. Congratulations, you'll go down in history. Completely paint the space up, completely paint it. Completely paint... <laughs> completely paint this space hopper. That's what they're called, space hopper. Oh, I don't think that's what they're called. Fastest and least messy wins. Your time starts now. Oh my God. So am I right in assuming that even if there's one drop of the green, then we're off the scene? <laughs> Age bracket, it's Alan and Victoria <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> I, love you. I love you, but he is a bit... She's a lot younger I... than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to take too long, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so orange. It's interesting that I've gone for painting over... Uh, I would just try and get it done as quickly as possible, forget the mess, and hope for the best. I suppose you've got to do the little prongs as well, right? The whole thing, please. The whole thing. Do you stop when it's all green, or do you stop when you've had enough? <laughs> it's the taut plastic corpse of the space hopper. Taut plastic corpse? Is there a way to suspend the thing from the roof, perhaps? I don't know how that would help, but <laughs> is, that, is there a possibility there? And I wrote down the quote, we'll pop it in the book. Um, do you stop when it's finished or when you've had enough? <laughs> <laughs> but he completed it in half the time. 10 minutes 51, Victoria was 21 minutes 20. Wow. This isn't so bad. Nope. <laughs> Shit. There you go. Oh. Oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> She has the sense of humour of an 18 year old boy. <laughs> yeah, Morgana. Five points, lock it in. Yes! Boink. I said good day, sir. There you go. <laughs> Morgana is killing this season. Is she going to win it? She's great. Something slightly more sinister going on over here when you popped my childhood. <laughs> That's because I never got one. Well, that wasn't the task, was it, Greg? It wasn't respect to the taskmaster's childhood. If anyone can, Guz can. <laughs> can he? I bet he can. Oh, we're in the second Alex, baby. Look at this. Hey. Fastest wins, Guz. Oh, is that the one there? You better go on. <laughs> You guys, you got some power making these tasks, bro. <laughs> Tim Key, we're talking about you. I wouldn't mind you slapping it. <laughs> Move the body mix. Make a mess, guys. Ah <laughs> 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 oh, no! Oh no! No! Well, at this point, we might as well just get messy. Yeah, exactly. We could have won this task. Okay, well, next time. We? <laughs> what are you talking about, we? Disasters. <laughs> there was blame apportioned. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh, slap it again, guys. <gasps> <laughs> he did it. Slapping it four or five times. And he's like, I'll spit on your hand. And I was like, all right, then. <laughs> You, you, yeah, really? Alex, what are you doing? There's no one here who didn't enjoy that slap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to score each one by all of those three criteria. Then yeah. we're going to have to divide their final points. Oh my God, this sounds complicated. Five. <laughs> one. This is just trying to trigger Victoria, this whole segment here. For one, Desiree got eight for two, Alan got <laughs> nine for three, Gaz got ten, ten for ten, four, right. Morgana yeah. got eleven for five. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>
That was definitely a setup for her, and she killed it. Wow. Five points to Morgana Robinson. Uh, yes! Tweet as much as you like! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what happened on At Twitter me. that week? At me. <laughs> Complete the course as slowly as possible. Oh. Be riding the bicycle forwards. Bicycle forwards? Within the limits of the course. Okay. Every time you put a foot on the ground, the clock will be paused and your final time will be paused. <laughs> this is pretty brutal scoring here, Alex. Your time starts when Alex fires his starter's pistol in five minutes from now. Alex. Oh, so you've got pre preparation time. What can't you do, Victoria? Ride a bike. I never really learned to ride a bicycle. Ah. Why do I feel like they knew that? Are you good at cycling? Well, I mean, I can cycle. Well, that's a start. You don't have one with stabilizers, I suppose. No. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it done. It's not like. Ah! <laughs> that was the most authentic cry of terror I think I've ever heard on this show. But how do you make it stop? Oh, you need something to put your feet on. Oh, Gus. Why can't you ride a bike? I just thought, you know, we were in central London. There was a lot of traffic. I never. I never I mean, had a bike. I mean, the fact that you're prepared to have a go at it. I mean, it's weird, but fair enough, I guess. Mm. Look, just check you're happy with the phrase high beamed in the crotch. <laughs> I, I was more than happy with high beamed. <laughs> on your marks, get set, slow. Yeah, very funny. All right, can you, can you stop and like put your feet up on the, like one of the platforms there? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to do a hell of a balancing act, but I reckon I could do it. This is going. Maybe my. Slimmer days, I could have done it. Oh no! <laughs> Just pause the clock. Time halved. Wow, so it's really probably best to just stay the course and just ride like a normal thing and just be like, yep, here we go. No, I'm not sure. Oh. oh, Morgana! Damn. <laughs> oh, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I am a speedy cyclist. Really? That's the end of the task? I am a, say, I am a speedy cyclist. I'm a speedy cyclist. Three. Well, finish strong, Morgana. My feeling was it was like ballet watching you. Never been said about me, so I will receive it um, as though it were sincere. <laughs> She did the whole course in 68 seconds. She made nine mistakes, so 68 divided by two nine times. She did the whole course in one sixteenth of a second. Oh my god. First time cyclist, Victoria Corrin Mitchell. All right, Victoria. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. You haven't crossed the line yet, it's all right. <laughs> oh no. We're off. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! Look at you, riding a bike! I have to pick up a thing. Yes, please. But I, that's so dangerous! <laughs> <laughs> that's so dangerous. I was actually psyched up to drop it in and then I didn't. I can't do it with one hand. There we go. Lisa pops. Oh! Okay, okay. Gaz Khan is dominating this, by the way. What's her score gonna be? Like, one millionth of a second or some shit? Goes very quickly down here! Oh my god! Oh no, come on. You know what? I give her respect. That was a solid effort. Gaz, what are you doing, bro? Dude! I feel like I found a new skill. Oh, it's, that might be saying a bit much, but yeah, have a crack. <laughs> you know, without the stress of the tasks, it's actually much easier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, she is it's great. It's actually quite touching yeah. to see you learn to ride a bike. <laughs> and yeah, I was still hoping you'd crash into that hedge. <laughs> She was the slowest time out of everyone, 95 seconds. Uh, she was stationary for quite a lot of the time. Uh, <laughs> hey, that could work at her... Four, just under an eighth of a second, Ooh. so she comes fourth. Say, so, yeah, if you just stood there and let your time go up, then that would... 
help you in the long run. To sharpen my skills for preparation for my work on this throne. This morning, it was Lydia Evans, who runs my local bakery. Lacklustre service and a horrible shrill voice. Easy. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> That's brutal. Uh, I love you. Okay. I can imagine. Yeah. He's not saying it back, Alex. Nice try. Finish. Okay. <laughs> that was harsh. Uh, who created this atmosphere? I didn't. Right, let's get going with... <laughs> Alex loved that. Most desirable thing for the person below you in the alphabet. Alan has chosen something desirable for Desiree. Okay, and Adam has chosen something desirable for Alan. Now, I don't know Alan Davies very well. In fact, I've never met the man once before in my life, and I've only watched him on five episodes of Taskmaster and ten minutes of his QI anecdotes. But after a little bit of a Google search, I found out that the man is very, very passionate about the Arsenal Football Club. So I picked up for Alan, and I am going to post this to him. I can't find an address. If anyone can help me find a P.O. box or somewhere to send this to, all I can really find is his agent some agency but he's not on their page anymore so i don't know if he's just elite level that he's not on the page or if he doesn't even use that agency sending alan davies this gift is going to be a bit of a task in itself but i'm up to the task and i plan on sending him this arsenal baseball cap i know the man loves his football i know the man loves his arsenal and this is a really really nice simple arsenal cap i genuinely think he would look at this and go that's a pretty nice cap and maybe he'll put his giant head within this cap one day. Alan Davies, I will send this to you the first chance I get. And I'm going to assume that Victoria Corrin Mitchell would bring me in a flapjack. Let's just go with that. It's a book of etiquette for English ladies. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's very helpful for people who are coming to these shows. I really like what Desiree's wearing as well. She looks great today. Even if you see them, do not bow. That is a relief, thank you. That Stop. Do not bow. Stop <laughs> bowing. <laughs> We're not chasing anybody. Walk slowly, gracefully. <laughs> He's flipping yanks, running around. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a Pakistani mastiff. It's a huge dog oh. that's super protective. Oh. Kuta means dog, and bully is a. It's a bully dog. You want a bully Kuta? It's a bully Kuta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look how excited he is. <laughs> as long as Guz is in the painting as well, then it will be. Beloved, what the fuck? Puffy coat and that everything, because that's your dog, man. That is incredible. Yes. Just give it a five points now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, okay. I thought he was bursting out of some sort of cocoon or something along those lines. Uh, but wow, that's a Guz Khan fluffy coat. Well done, Desiree. I was hoping you are going to insult each other. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're all just buying really, really sweet, meaningful <laughs> gifts for each other. <laughs> oh, I love this one. I love this. This might be my favorite prize task ever, where it just completely backfires on the taskmaster. How is he gonna? Um, how is he gonna score this? Actually, it's a good question. How is he gonna score this? Because usually you're buying a item for the taskmaster, but not this time. Now this time you're getting it for. That somebody else, so how are you gonna score it? Look, if I win that, it, I'll give it to you. Can, I, can you do that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Stop being nice! <laughs> 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 Me too, guys. You're totally having it. Thank you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's gonna give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, because I'm gonna go backstage and cut that painted up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever seen Greg this out of control of the show not because he's out of control just losing control of the show and who would have guessed that it would just be an abundance of love and support <laughs> among the contestants that completely disarms him they're not cut up that painting though i'll tell you that much so i have bought for morgana what yeah. is it my g and we it was weekend in the seychelles <laughs> <laughs> It's one of Guz's long coats. <laughs> I love it! I love it! It's the one that you were wearing the other day! You said you really liked and I was like... But I love it! <laughs> this is too much! This is so good! Once he yeah. either wants in life paintings of himself or to make other people look like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
vintage smoking jacket. Holy shit! To sort of pimp up her late night smutty poker nights. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh my god. Can you imagine a big cigar, nothing underneath, six of clubs of that? <laughs> <laughs> Place, it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> That's a great present as well, obviously. Yeah. Um, if we can rely on one person to get us back on track. Oh no, the pressure. The pressure on Victoria right here to do something amazing. It better be better than an Arsenal cap, Victoria. Oh. A season ticket to Manchester United. Because what? he always goes to see the Arsenal. Yeah, because <laughs> that's his team. Yeah, wh whatever the reason, that's where he always is. <laughs> he wouldn't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> if he loves football, he's going to want to see the best. Oh, God, Victoria, what are you doing? It's usually Manchester United, and I thought, I don't know why Alan's never treated himself. Oh, God, it just gets worse and worse. I haven't even bought the whole season ticket well, most to a team I imagine you hate. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and many of them, I'd like to point out, hate me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's aggressive, calculated, <sighs> personal attack I've ever experienced. <laughs> oh my god. This is absolutely fucking amazing. That went. Perfectly. That's got to be tongue in cheek for Victoria. That's got to be tongue in cheek. She must know that that is like a completely backhanded gift to give the man. One point to Victoria. <laughs> <gasps> I'm shocked that Victoria didn't get five points from the Taskmaster. I thought he would have loved that. Four points the for the smoking jacket. It just tipped it for me, so I'm going to give five points to Desra. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not going to argue with that. That painting is pretty spectacular. Oh, okay. I genuinely need a moment here. I can feel my, my abdomen starting to cramp from laughing too hard. Very interesting. I think, honestly, you could have given five points to any of those prizes, and I would have been completely fine with it. Maybe not Guzz's coat, although Morgana was elated to see that that was what <laughs> it was it was like christmas morning it's christmas it's christmas morning right then just everybody opening their presents and getting something that they wanted <laughs> with the exception of alan davies well although alan alan get me your address and i'll send you this bad boy